Introduction The bookstore management system is that the primary source for operating bookstore activities. All the order work is completed manually before this in the account book, which is it consumes longer, needs more manpower, and chances of errors. Therefore, it is better to design a bookstore system database to extend all the details and make it simple to use the system. What is the target of this project? The target of this design of the bookstore management system is to support the book order status of books within the store, details customer order process, and customer personnel information. The system focuses on storing and processing such as inserting and updating. It also generates details of particular book, customer, publisher, and author from the data. The problem statement in our database project would be the biggest problem that we all have been craving for from technology, which is time waste. And also we want to shorten the time we use to do certain things Technology always helps us in bringing more applications and also computer-based software applications to make our life easier. As so, the database project we introduced, the bookstore management system, will also handle the most significant issue, which is time waste. So, due to the manual system is extremely time wasting our automation will shorten the time it takes to complete the operation between the staff and also the consumer or the uh, rental takers buyers whoever they interact with in the bookstore and also it also has many advantages up, such as the database could be up to date and we do not need to recruit extra people to complete this, uh, the maintenance of the bookstore and also because the database is so rapid communication with suppliers customers and other associate organization will be more successful and also finally the phases of all transaction method will be easier and more precise this is our erd diagram for bookstore management system we can see 10 entities and their attributes. There are PR branch, PR staff, PR member, PR loan, PR book copy, PR book, PR book author, PR author, PR book category, and PR publisher. Relationship between entities, which are authentication system, provides login to multiple staff, which is the relationship is one to many. Many books can be published by only one publisher, but a publisher can publish many books, one to many relationship. Then, a customer can order many books, but a book can be ordered by one customer, also one to many relationship. And lastly, a book is written by only one author, but an author can write many books, one to many relationship. This is our data dictionary for uh, entity, we are branch, we are staff, we are member, we are loan, we are book copy, we are book, we are book author, we are author, we are publisher, and we are book category. Provide um, table name, attribute name, content, type, format, range, and required. Uh, also, PK or FK and FK reference table. And here an, an example of care table stuff. This is the code. Then here is the information. We insert the information that we need. And this is the result. This is the table. Thank you. We'll talk about uh, SKU. So here is the table for stuff. Here is our stuff name. 
and their gender, they're male or female, and the date they joined us, and the salary, their salary. published and published also and this table for book status there if the books are good or not for example if this book is damaged and also how many copy this book and also the rate and the rate out when, when they read the book, date return, and how many members, and rental rate, it's also here. That's all, thank you. Selection is a defined as a taking the horizontal subset of a row of a single table that satisfy a particular condition. This kind of select statement returns some of the rows and all the columns in the table. For the selection example, uh, the question asks to include all the data from the book table where the title is start with the letter T. So, this is how you write the SQL statement for the selection statement. You write the SQL statement, you run the sheet and you will get the table that you write from the SQL statement uh, early. The projection is defined as a taking a vertical subset of the column of a single table that return, retains the unique rows. Projection is implemented through the projection list in the projection clause of a select statement. This operation select certain required attributes while discarding others attributes. Example for the projection statement, uh, the question asks to include staff ID, name, gender, salary, and branch number from the staff table. So, we need to write like this. After you write, you run the SQL stem uh, worksheet and you will get the table uh, that uh, requires staff ID, name, gender, salary, and branch number. Data aggregation and grouping allows us to create summaries for the display or analysis. For example, when calculating average values of or creating table of counts or sums. Grouping, in essence, collect multiple rows into single rows based on some criteria. For the grouping uh, example, statement example, the question asks that we need to count how many dates in that have the same date to the grouping from the book copy. So, we will write like this and after that, we will run the SQL worksheet and you will get the data uh, that uh, the date in uh, column and the column of count of how many date that are the same in the table, in the book copy table. 
aggregation function is used to perform the calculation on multiple row of a single column of a table and return a single value. The example of the aggregation statement, the question asks to calculate the total rental rate from the book copy table. So we will write like this and after we write, we run the worksheet and you will get the total of the rental rate from the we are going to look at our first joint quality which is inner joint as we can see the what is inner joint is really is the matching values in both tables will be displayed the tables we chose are BR loan and also BR member the, the result to be displayed that we need will be the loan number and also the business name so we had run the sequel and the results are as shown here. As you can see, it has displayed the loan number and also the name of the member. It's available in both tables. We are going to look at our third <coughs> joint query, which is right joint query, which returns all records from the right table, BR branch. And the matching records to the left table, BR staff. The result also will be zero if the left side have no matches. And let's see after we have run the SQL, our result is based. We have the staff ID, the name, the address, and telephone number that matches. For our next part, the next part of our joint query would be left join left join means the keyword returns all records from the left table which as we could see it is BR stuff and also the matching records from the right table which is BR branch if there is no match the result will be zero and now we have run the SQL and as you can see here is the result displayed it has the staff ID, the name, the address and also the telephone number of the staff. Now moving on to our next joint query will be full auto join that we have stated. I have highlighted here. So in the full auto join we have to return all records when there is a match in left which is book author table and also in right the only author table the result that we need will be the ISPN in book author and also the author's name so we have processed the SQL and as now we can see we have both the ISPN and the name of the authors as a result now we we'll, <coughs> now we will be looking at our nested query a nested query or a sub query which another sql sub query within the query embedded within the by using the where clause as you can see here we are using the where clause and the main query condition to further restrict the data to be received when we have run the sql in our database and the results is here as you can see we have the staff id name gender date of birth date joint salary and branch number and the staff id is aligned by order as for final point we will be looking at our nested query and after we have run the sequel our output will be this as you can see it will also have to state the staff ID name by gender, date of birth, date turn, salary and also branch number.